a miracles is what the church needs today. When you read about Jesus, you are hearing his word when you read the Bible. When a preacher like me or any of us stand up and open the Bible and say, turn to Matthew chapter 4, turn to Luke chapter 4, turn to John 3, 16. All we are telling you from the scripture is what Jesus would have said if he's standing physically. Did anybody hear what I'm saying? My statement tonight is this. If Jesus were here in physical form, and you say, welcome Jesus, and this is he. What he will say to Dr. Peter Lenica tonight will be, you look nice. You look good. Words that come out of Jesus' mouth are words of encouragement. He met a woman that was caught in the act of adultery. Jesus wasn't the one that caught him, her. Men caught her and brought her to him. And Jesus looked at her. The men had stones in their hand to stone her to death for committing adultery. And Jesus, they said to Jesus, see, this woman, she's rotting. We caught her in the very act of adultery. And Jesus said, lovely. Thank you, you caught her. You haven't come to tell me you prayed for her. You have not come to tell me you asked her to confess her sin. You are catchers of sinners. Who is the actor in the act? Thank God uh, you didn't hear that English. You who caught her, who was the actor? Because you caught her in the act. Which among you men was the one having adultery with her? Because if you caught her in the very act, somebody was acting. Who among you? And they said, uh, we are not the one poser. <laughs> it is easy to show sinners how they sin. God is not looking for sin pointers. God is looking for sin forgivers. John the Baptist said, Behold the Lamb of God that taketh away the sins of the world. I show you your sin, but Jesus will take it from you. Who will you follow if you were a man? A sin shower or a sin taker? I didn't hear you. Talk back to me. Who will you follow? The man who tells you how bad you are, the man who says you are bad but I will repay you, who will you follow? The man who, who can repair your life? Yes or no? That's it. That's the person you should follow. If Jesus were standing here tonight, he would say, Dr. Peter, you've never been as handsome as this. You're so lovely. Thank God for your wife. She must have been the one who chose this tie for you. Jesus will talk like that. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Jesus shows the way out of darkness. He doesn't put people in darkness. He sees the worst sinner, he helps him out of sin. He sees the man very sick. When I was preaching, I began to look at the act of Jesus, the action of Christ. For example, they came to call him and said, The man whom thou love is dead. He's sick. First he's sick. Come and heal him, which is easy. Come and heal him is easier than come and raise him. Do you believe that? <laughs> They went, he, he said, tell them I'm coming. Day one, he didn't come. Day two, he didn't come. Day three, he didn't come. Day four, he rose up from where he was preaching. He said, let's go wake him up. He's sleeping. No pastor talk like that today. Pastor sent condolence card. Jesus wake the dead up. That's right. Can I hear you say hallelujah? Hallelujah. The disciples say, if he's sleeping, there's no need to trouble him. Let him rest in peace. Okay. So, as you can hear that, brothers and sisters, uh, good day. This is a mega comrade, Officer Clement Iranomio Edegbe, the president of the poor citizen worldwide, commander-in-chief of the defenseless and the voiceless, the tiger and the lion combined. Uh, God, I wish Margaret Idausa can listen to her husband. When Margaret 
Idaosa, see poor people are dying. Instead, for Margaret Idaosa to follow the scripture, the preaching of her husband, Margaret Idaosa took advantage of the poor citizen. When a man is down, are you kick him on the head? You keep kicking him on the head. You don't want him to survive. When a woman is down and a man continues to kick him or her on the head, it's not a way to survive him. So, Margaret Idaosa have completely contradicted her husband preaching. May our bishop B.A. Idaosa so rest in perfect peace. B.A. Idaosa, if he's in heaven, he should wake up and call on her, on her wife, on his wife. B.A. Idaosa should wake up and call on Margaret Idaosa, his own wife, and take her along. Because right now, all she's doing is killing the poor people by buying their property. Instead of her to help pray for God to call for intervention. What we, the poor citizen, are going through. But Margaret Idaosa, the wife to Archbishop B.A. Idaosa, he is by land, she is by land, like a, woman, like a man. She is no longer a woman. Now she is behaving like the head of the old world. Like Dr. Damage, Kateosa Okumbo. We are coming to that. Hoho Akataka, the Lord is good. Today, I am going to be preaching the word of freedom. For God Almighty to kill all corrupt political leaders quickly in Nigeria. To kill all bad leaders in Nigeria quickly, 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 quickly in Jesus' mighty name. We will pray for our bad leader to die by fire or by ugun. We will pray for them to die with immediate effect. We will be praying for their death, not for their survivor. We will pray for their children who are hobbling their father, their wife or their husband, who are hobbling their, their husband or their wife in committing this barbaric act of corruption that is completely decimating the whole Africa, that is sending our children to be migrating into Europe through Mediterranean Sea, that is killing our brothers and sisters in Libya, we are going to pray for those families who are hobbling their heart to follow them to grave. In Jesus' mighty name. That is going to be today's topic. And I am going to make sure that when we pray, we should invite every Ogbanje, Esago, Oloku, Pastor, Juju, Ohasigidi, Ohebo, Ogun. We should invite all of them to listen. Witchcraft, anything you call them, invite them to listen. Mami Water, bring them rise from the water. We don't care. The pastors in Nigeria, in North Africa, are failed us. They are for one night. They are fake. They are fake. They don't see miracle. They don't see nothing. If they are not fake. <laughs> Why is Boko Haram and I call Fulani as man? Why can't they know the difference between Fulani, Kato men, and Boko Haram? That is number one question. To tell you all the churches that you run to, run to for refuge is fake. Fake, 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 fake. Fake, fake, fake prophet, fake pastor, fake uh, bishop, fake churches all over Africa. They are corrupt. They are all for one man. In fact, 4130. They are no longer 4130. 4130. That is what they are. So, brothers and sisters, I am going to do my sharing while I let you listen. God. Them, we talk, oh. This was not what they promised us. Oh. Them 
so My bed with the bag oh. See my people done the dog Please pity for us oh. Politicians please pity for us oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Brothers and sisters, uh, where are we going to go from here? Every time we pray for these leaders in Africa, all they pay us with is debt, oppression, killings every day. Again, in a state yesterday, a military official killed an innocent vigilante group. For Aousa Fulani, cattle man, terrorist group. And yet, nobody is speaking. Nobody is speaking. That is to tell you when they oppress you and you silent, you will die silent. You remember the taxi driver who was killed by policemen. What people did not know. What people did not know, the spot at that incident where it happened is People Freedom Movement headquarters, Secretariat Building. It happened in our eye. That is why freedom was answered. What people did not know immediately happened. They called me. Look at what just happened in front of our secretarial building, Bene. But what people did not know, you cannot come and kill an innocent where the father house is living. That is why justice must be brought to him. Look at other killings. Who did not? Who is not in our front? Nobody will talk. Nobody. That incident in Bene happened right at this. BF Secretariat Office in Benin Edo State. But a lot of people took credit for it. They took credit for it. Now, look at the one the military killed in bypass. Who is not, it did not happen in front of PFM. We have no idea how it happened. The governor went to go and visit, visit the, the the, the, the family, can somebody answer me? Tell me yes or no. 
Did governor went to go and ask and visit them? No, of course no. Because the governor know this is not at me. Oh God, Akataka. Today not today. <laughs> I'm doing my work here, doing my sharing by myself. I said I will not ask for anybody to do it because I'm tired of telling you to do your job. This this uh, uh, corruption we are fighting. El Anomigo is not going to benefit it alone. We have to fight it with collective effort. But when you decide to leave your problem, what you're supposed to do, the little you can do, donate, you will not donate. Go on the feed, you will not go on the feed. Help us, save our video, you cannot. Here you are, Betus, more Abetu is taking our video left and right every day. He's gambling with us every day. And he's using people. Nobody can take Abetu video down. Why? Is, are you not telling me that Abetu is the only person that know how to take video down in the whole world? Eh? No! Share video. You will not share. Come on the street. You will not come. This is called corruption. In within us. When you cannot do what you are supposed to do, you are corrupt. And you are allowing others. Allowing others. To do your job for you. That is not fair. It is not fair. You know what I'm saying? It is not fair. That is the fact. So I will do what I can do. And leave the rest for God Almighty. Alright, today. I have a fire that I'm going to bring out right now. It's a big fire. I'm going to let people see what is in the fire. It's a fire about Kate Ohonsa Okumbo. Of a do state. As Dangote continue to destroy Nigeria, Kafte Uhosa Okumbo continue to destroy a do state with his corrupt way of living. There is the question I want to ask every brothers and sister. This is not all about Ranomiro. I want you to ask yourself this question. If our father, our father, Oba Atokbe, he said, Oba Ewa Ogidiga Atokbe, he said, uh, as a son of the other, me, myself, the mega comrade, the president of the poor citizen, as a son of the other, it is my duty to defend my fatherland. It is my duty to do whatever it takes that will protect my kingdom, that will help our brothers and sisters home and abroad. I am not going to wait for someone to tell me, oh, are you going to fight for your father before I fight for my father. No. If you insult my father or you fight my father, you beat up my father spiritually, physically, corruptionally, or intimidation, I will not wait for my father to tell me, so go and fight for me before I fight. So that is why I have took this upon myself to fight for our father. Why? And I want to ask all the Enigis who are joining the political cabal to destroy Nigerians. All the chiefs across the whole Nigeria. I want to ask you a question. Mostly all the kings in Nigeria now. There's a question I want to ask. All over Nigeria. If your father... If your father, the, your father, that, the, your late father, if your father sold all the land that belongs to Kano, belongs to Imo State, belongs to Edo State, belongs to Lagos State, if your father sold it before you were crowned as a king, what will you sell? It's a question. What will you sell if your father sold all the land, allowed the governor, to give you bread, to corrupt you, give you millions of millions of naira that will not sustain your tattoo till you die, that will not even stop, sustain your children. Are you allowed the governor to run wild with your land? Are you are not calling on your children or calling on the governor to stop as other, as the Olu of worry or Sudan of Sokoto? If you cannot challenge your governor because of corruption, what are you going to leave for your son? The crown prince. What are you going to leave? If your father was selling every land 
direct, directly or indirect. And if your father were allowed him, what we call a baby timber magnet to be destroying all the what in Benin, I know about Benin, all the Azoba, there's what we call Azoba in Benin. It's called Oba Reserve Forest. Nobody go in there. We have one in Urenigbe. Between Urenigbe and Ewesi. There's what we call Azoba. It belongs to Oba of Benin. Nobody go in there. But as we speak now, there's nothing left. In Okomo, there's nothing left. In all that part of Edo land, there's nothing left. How can our Enigi allow this? If our father, Obaiwari, or the number one, Obaire Dewa, number two, Oba Eweka, if they sold Edo land, tell me where we would have been today. What would Ayunigi say today? Okay, it's like what I told my father. I always use my land and myself as an example of everything. When I told my father, there was a land that was close to my father's house. Before I know it, my father had already given it to my stepbrother. I asked my father, you are not even there and you are sharing your land already. If this is what your father did, I asked my father that. You are not even there. Not that my father sold it to. He gave it. I said, you are not there. You are sharing your property. Okay. Share your property. Akataka. <laughs> Share it. I allowed him. He was tired. When he later called me, all this land, how am I going to protect it? I said, I'm not coming home. Me, I will die in America. Share it. He stopped without even speaking one word. If the governor is selling our land and our traditional ruler called governor into question, it don't matter who in the Imo state, Anabra, Delta state, Kano, Just, Taraba, Nasarawa, it don't matter. If our traditional rulers call them to question, do you think the governors or any buyer will have the audacity to go and buy a land that the kingdom is against? No. No. But yesterday, we find out on record that Edo State become the most devastating state, the most forest, the most state that have destroyed forests that have no forest, that have lost forest since 2015 to 2018. Edo State is number one. Bad record. Why? Because Dangote and Margaret Idausa, Captain Osa, Governor Ada Oshemule, Governor Badwin Obaseki of Edo State, they are terrorizing the forest. They are terrorizing everywhere. Okay. I want to ask everyone a question. Buari is telling everyone, hey God Almighty, may God let our leader die in Jesus' name. May God let them die one by one. Die by fire one by one. If God can just put them together in one room and send, send a thunderstorm, light to light them up in Jesus' mighty name, that would be better. Tell me anyone that is there who will not pray for your bad leader to die. Is there anyone there? May God let Nigerian bad leaders, corrupt leader, die quickly in Jesus' mighty name. Die quickly. Die, 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 die. We want to see your grief in Jesus' mighty name. In the name of Almighty God, in the name of Allah, all our bad political leader should die. Should die. And you will die with your children that are supporting you. You will die with your wife that are supporting you, who is eating our sweat, who is eating our life, who is eating our destiny, who is eating our brothers and sisters, directly or indirectly. Any leader that have contributed by their way of corruption, who have contributed to this migration of immigrants, Africans that are dying on the road, 
It don't matter if wherever you are. So we to in South Africa, Dakar in Senegal, Guinea Conakry, Baju in Gambia, Ethiopia, Addis Ababa, anywhere you are, dab a fire. God should kill African bad leaders. Quickly, God. We are asking you to kill them. We are not telling you to have mercy on them. If freely, God, you exist. Take their life quickly. Take it. Take it. Kill them. Why are they killing good people? Why does good people die easily? And bad people survive? Why? Why? Who can tell me that Nigeria government have imparted their life good if they are not corrupt? Who? Is anybody here? Who have Buhari help? I regret praying for Buhari when he was in London. I regret. I have to I have to cap here. I will do this later. I will share this later. I'm not okay. I already did one. So I will quickly show you something. I have two white cap right here now, right now. Right now, I'm going to show you an example. This is one. Look at it. This is another one. Which one is better? You have to choose the one that is more fitable, not the one that is more expensive. This is more expensive, but this one fit me very well. Our leader have not fit us. Why is it difficult? This is common practical. To remove who do not even care about you. Professor Simbajo, the vice president of Nigeria. <laughs> I feel for that man. He's tired. He's weak. He's like good Lord Jonathan. A woman. How can you put a woman? A pastor. How can you put a woman to vice a to vice military general. I don't know what is wrong with Nigerian academia or Nigerian professors. What were you all thinking? When you all choose to help elect Muhammad Buhari, what were you thinking when you went ahead and put a woman, not only a woman, a slow poison, Professor Yemi Osibajo, even good luck, even is, is stronger than him. Good Lord Jonathan can still talk. Yemi Osibajo is completely buried alive by Mohamed Buhari and Fulani Hesman. Osibajo cannot defend his own citizen. But Mohamed Buhari is defending his own people. Osibajo is a sellout to the Yoruba people. It's a sellout to South South. It's a sellout to Niger Delta. Osiba John will never become a president in Nigeria. Never. Because Osiba John is a woman. A, is, we would rather elect a woman as a president than to elect a man who is a woman. Wearing a pink skirt. With all this Boko Haram going everywhere, I listened to Nigerian military when they were talking yesterday. They were saying because of this insurgency catch that Nigeria, Nigeria government politicians they gave amnesty that most of them took advantage of it. You gave amnesty to who have killed 300 people who have given bomb, who have destroyed properties destroy Nigeria land. Have you raped women? You give them amnesty. But you cannot give one small boy who's, who's still got it to eat amnesty. Is that fair? Is that justice? A small boy who was hungry, he went ahead and stuck stone Gary and eat. He was light and beaten to death. But someone, someone who have committed triple quadruple murder in nigeria they gave them amnesty what do they do next they pick up ak-47 assault rifle and continue to go from village by village from town to town continue to destroy innocent people may god forgive you all in jesus mighty name 
So, yesterday, while I was watching, I saw some fools, some cattles. We call them cattles, but they are not really cattles. They are smarter than us. They know what they are looking for. And they know what they want, and they know how to get it. I am going to quickly show you one video that I recorded quick, quick, quick. In order for you to see. You can see when I see Yemi or Simpadio, look what they are now fighting against. Mm -hmm. They are fighting against corruption. Now Yemi or Simpadio have seen it that corruption is the one killing Nigeria. Look at it. Look at how tired it is. Look at him. Look at how tired it is. Look at it. He's tired. This man is frustrated. He's tired. He cannot control Mohamed Buhari. He cannot even tell him anything. He's the vice. Not only that Mohamed Buhari don't give a damn about him. Then you have fools. So-called fools. Fools to us. But they are smart to themselves. Our south side, Niger Delta, they become Niger nothing. Niger Delta become Niger nobody. Other than the, the land defender of Niger Delta, which the Nigerian government called them militant. I don't call them militant. I call them our heroes. They are our heroes. They are my heroes. They are not your hero. Niger Delta land defender are my heroes. They are the reason why I am fighting today. Because that gives me hope there are still people who can fight for their land in Niger Delta. Not people in a dusty too. So let me show you what Northern Alliance are doing right now. Even though, like I told Mohamed Buhari, I have told him, don't even consider of running for re-election. Mohamed, this is a direct message to the Nigerian government. If Mohamed Buhari, in the name of Allah and God Almighty, I prophesy this to you today. If you love Nigeria, Mohamed Buhari, if you love Nigeria very well, Wallahi, if you love Nigeria, stay away from re election. Mohamed Buhari, my president, you will live long. Stay away and live long. All the money you stole, or any of your cabinet stole, return it peacefully. Because you are fighting corruption, right? Isn't it? Or not? Either you keep it. Tell us where your son get 56 million times two. Where, what job did he do for him to raise 112 million naira to buy two more back? So it's a simple question. Mohamed Buhari should tell us where was your son paid? What kind of job is he doing that he can give him 130 million right away? So we are begging you in the name of Allah, don't even think of running. If you love Nigeria, don't run. If you run, don't say I did not prophesy. Calamity upon calamity will continue to reign in all sectors in Nigeria. And that calamity will continue to destroy your home and everywhere. All these family that are here jubilating, they are the bad head of Nigeria. For a youth to come out in Northern Side and say, Buari, you must run. Listen to how uneducated they are. I want to educate a lot of people like I continue to educate them. Some people are very, very dumb, but they have master's degree in Nigeria certificate. They have doctorate degree. When they come to America, they will become a high school diploma. Most of the graduates that I know in Nigeria, they are here. I have a lecturer from a one college education who came here. He could not count American dollar. He worked in his store. They told him you don't know how to count money. A lecturer in Nigeria. Then he said, can you imagine this? I'm a lecturer. They are telling me I don't know how to count. I said, this is America. Welcome to America. He could not even speak English that they will understand. A lecturer in Nigeria. That is how corruption has decimated Nigeria. So, Mohamed Buhari have listened to PFM. He don't want to run. But see how they want to bring him. Watch, I recorded it short. 
Hari will not seek new election, as they threaten to take him to court if he fails to declare his intention to run within the next three days. The purpose of coming here today is to mobilize and also hold a, a very big rally to mobilize support for President Muhammadu Buhari. But we have a cardinal call that if President Muhammadu Buhari do not come out and make a public statement from now before on Monday, we'll be forced to go to court and uh, invite him to come to court and make a public statement that he's recontesting for President come 2019. The first thing I will say about him is that he has brought stability in this country. Huh? And we want uh, stability. To Oh. Next, the campaign is filed to the Unity Fountain, where a representative of the Secretary to the Government of the Federation is waiting to receive them. We do not have an alternative to Mr. President for now. Some of the aspirants who are interested in leading this nation they have nothing to offer to this nation. Yeah. Nigeria's general election is expected to hold in February next year. As that date gets closer, the political scene is getting more and more exciting, with several groups and individuals mobilizing. Okay, let me play for it for Facebook. I just did it on YouTube. Let me go ahead and play for Facebook. Mm -hmm. See how Nigerians are stupid. The campaign has dismissed any possibility that President Buhari will not seek new election, as they threaten to take him to court if he fails to declare his intention to run within the next three days. The purpose of coming here today is to mobilize and also hold a, a very big rally to mobilize support for President Muhammadu Buhari. But we have a cardinal call that if President Muhammadu Buhari do not come out and make a public statement from now before on Monday, we'll be forced to go to court and uh, invite him to come to court and make a public statement that he's recontesting for President come 2019. The first thing I will say about him is that he has brought stability in this country and we want a continuity. Next, the campaign is filed to the Unity Fountain, where a representative of the Secretary to the Government of the Federation is waiting to receive them. We do not have an alternative to Mr. President for now. Ah. So no, I don't want to show this again. Give me one second. Did you hear the, the man what he said? He said they do not have alternative. So as big as Nigeria, there's nobody that is smarter than Mohamed Buhari, that is younger than Mohamed Buhari, that is physically fit than Mohamed Buhari. In America, they use your medical record to qualify you if you can run, if you can become president. They will ask you to provide your medical record. They want to be sure that your liability, your sickness, America will not be paying, will not be liable for it. Are they not using that the same category in Nigeria? Now you have one useless man, an Igbo man, Igbo sellout, said the stability, security, uh, stability in Nigeria is good. Can you imagine? Is so <laughs> we are, we, every year we have graduate they go on Facebook they take pictures hey I graduated today congratulations God have made it where are they they, they uh, I have my master where are they even some even many people that I know I have master I have master I have, me I don't have master to hell with, with it you that have it I am a professor in what I do, I do it best. You that have master, you have doctorate degree. So Mohamed Buhari is smarter than you. You people are the killer of Nigeria. You know why? When you when you go to school with corruption, fire woman, they will put on their skirt, their love will be shining, they will entice their lecturer, they will open their leg. They will sleep with them until they are tired. They will disverge them. Even some that manage their father, their mother were pastors. They were very nice. 
there wasn't a virgin before they enter university. Immediately they enter, they are lecturer with this virgin then. Throughout their four years in university, they will continue to sleep with one lecturer to another. How can such a woman, they will go on Facebook, they will hold their phone, left, right, bra, bra, bra. They will bend their mouth. They will bend their nose. They will bend their ear. Even if they will even put pig in their nose. When you ask them to come and bring their certificate, na story. When you ask them to submit their resume, na story. Submit your CV or whatever you call it in Nigeria, na story. Because we allowed Ebola corruption to continue to decimate our educational sector. Political sector. Even our traditional rulers are not the most corrupt people in Africa. Most especially in Nigeria. And very soon, karma is coming to them one by one. Very soon, the old children will rise up and speak against their father's bad behavior. Don't think that we are dumb, that we are not seeing. We are seeing. We are giving you time to change. There's a little place we are waiting. When you don't change, we are not going to allow you to bring Fulani to come and be killing us in the village. No way. Abba. Me, I will not tolerate it. It's never going to happen. That is the fact. So, because of the way they were graduated, these girls are some of the boys. Instead of them to go to school, they will go there and start practicing courtesy. They will even rape women. They will be jumping from one place to another, stealing of money. Their sister and abroad, they will continue to use the house, they will, the money they gave them to build out, they will use it to be drinking beer. Can you imagine in Benin City? You will say you don't want problem, you want to go and relax in a hotel. Every hotel in Benin is surrounded by bar, beer parlor. They will drink and dance down, down from Monday to Monday. I ask myself one question. I say, where are these people getting money to drink from Monday to Monday? No stop. No stop in Nigeria, Benin City. From Monday to Monday, they will be hearing katakbo, katakbo, music, 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 katakbo, timaya, uh, peace square. They will be, you see small, small guests, that is not even that. When you pass them, they will be smelling. They don't know how to use deodorant. Not even a deodorant, they will be smelling. They will be moving their year, year waste. They will be moving it. And the boys, small, small boys, when you talk to them, they will tell you, say, oh boy, you want trials? My your business. How can a society grow when the young are not being taught how to be responsible? How can a society improve when every sector are being decimated with corruption? How can How can? How would you expect someone that always drink from money from Monday to Monday? 24 hours. 247, no stop. How can he finance himself when he don't work? It's true kidnapping and true stealing. True stealing. My leader. So, this, our future is in your hands. My future is in my hand. My future is already stable. I already know what I am. I will never look for document in my life again. I will never look for food to eat in my life again, no matter what. I already, I, I, listen, I came from the bottom. And I'm not afraid from the, to go back to the bottom. I know how to jump back up without taking people's money. Stealing. And I know how to borrow. I am the big borrower. 
I know how to borrow money. They cannot borrow you if you know you cannot pay by. If they know you cannot pay by, nobody will give you money. The only way they borrow means because anyone that gave you money, as that person, what have an amigo done for you? I must have helped them one way or the other. Nobody just borrow you money. So, it is left for you to you're going to change your destiny. There is a video that I watched yesterday on TV, uh, uh, Channel TV, where the Channel TV went to Renigbe. And they told us that Renigbe, where I come from, was the only forest that carry all agricultural leaves. They come from University of Ibadan, all the way from Ibadan to Renigbe. Surprisingly, they came to Renigbe, that forest were gone. Even the robot plantation have been destroyed by Margaret Idausa and other companies. Information, PFM have sent people on ground. I will want to tell people, if you are from Urenigbe, we already have a list of those that are destroyed Urenigbe land. And if you have bought any land in Urenigbe, forget about it. You lose your money. Because when you buy a vehicle from a criminal and that vehicle is being re uh, is recovered by law enforcement agency, you cannot tell law enforcement agency to come and pay you. No. If you are not careful, you will be prosecuted as well by illegal property. So if you know, I want to appeal to a two state citizen, most especially. We will, the next 2020 gubernatorial election, our destiny lies in our hand. The first thing we should do, I want every state to copy it, is for us to vote Muhammad Buhari out of office. That is our number one change that we need. If we can vote Muhammad Buhari, these are numbers less than a year now before the election. Today is exactly February 16, 2019. It's election day in Nigeria. Nobody can change it except God Almighty. Let us vote APC out of power. Then all these small, small political party. If PDP are not ready to change, we will be a spoiler. There's what we call a spoiler in America. What Ross Peru did to President George, George H. W. Bush. What those that were opportunity to be in the United States then, you know what happened. When Ross Peru become a spoiler to the Republican Party that led President B. Clinton won election, if not, he wouldn't have won. So if PDP did not get their ass together, all that party we will join, we will be a spoiler. Me, the tiger and the lion, for me to compromise my destiny. Compromise my brothers and sisters' destiny. I will be a spoiler. I will spoil you and I will destroy your pull out like I have sick Obaseki political career. Obaseki is dead. Governor Badway, Obaseki of Edo State. Who will even choose him for Senate? No way. Who will choose him for uh, Vat President? No way. Who will choose him for President? He's dead. Governor Obaseki political career. He pay. He want to I with the power of PSN. He's dead. Just like I'm warning Church of God Mission now. Church of God Mission Margaret Idausa. Just like as I'm warning you. Let me tell you. If you do not take the night in one week, if we do not hear from Church of God Mission, we will send people that will say the truth. That your church we will approve to. There's a place I will tell you where they will go and dig something out. They will go and dig it out. I know it. We will humiliate Church of God mission. Well, let me tell you. Uh, we will humiliate all this pastor. It will be the beginning of calamity in all these fake churches. It will be the beginning. We will humiliate you. We will destroy you and humiliate you. We will humiliate you. Our Bishop B.A. Dowser was, at the beginning, was very close to my grandfather. As you know, my grandfather was a strong man. Uh, be, 
is was a strong man. When I say strong man, strong man, demonically strong, godly strong, spiritually strong, and otherwise, he was a strong man. If not my grandfather, Obabudia will not go to war and come back. I said it. In that governor Osadebe house, my father know every room in that Osadebe house. And that is why I tell Obaseki, you cannot use that house to fight me. Because my father protected that house. That is why you are able to come in. And the same warning I'm giving to Margaret Dowser. What she did not know and what she know, I will tell her. If you think what I'm saying is lying, I will tell you to go and take her in the palace. Come to Orenigbe. Come to Olokunurebe. Olokunurebe belongs to God. That is our church. Our church Olokunurebe. It's, it's a chalk, native chalk. Come and take it. Like I'm holding the Bible, take native church, white chalk. If you take Margaret Dowser is white as chalk, come and take the church, uh, the chalk. Let's see. So me, I grew up with. Listen, I helped my father very well. There's nothing I did not know. My grandfather, I was the best friend to him. Nobody in America that can buy a tobacco pipe with two thousand dollars, two thousand euro to his own father in the village. Nobody with your money. I'm the only one that do it. Tobacco pipe, two thousand dollars. I would buy four for five hundred. Right here in a McKinney, McKinney, right here McKinney Avenue in Dallas, Texas. Right here. If I go there today, they still respect me. I will shop just tobacco and uh, the, the 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 pipe and uh, whatever it is, three thousand euro. To your own grandfather who does that nobody but me i take good care of him very very well and he's protecting me let me tell you there's nothing i don't know if i am not in america today me i would have go to forest and pluck leaf only i would just blow it Upper second would just fall and sleep it's so unfortunately that america have already spoiled everything that i know me nobody if you try, you go get Yawa. I will humiliate you. Ekme Homi. He he he. Akataka. Ekme Oduma. Evi Adepoe. Eko Ahadi. Igwa. Gwa. You know what I'm saying? So, I am telling you today. Your destiny is in your hand. Buari is weak. He don't want to run. But those political cabal that are around him, they want to continue to steal our money. So, and they want to use Muhammad Buhari to kill all of you. I am begging you. If you are in a do state today, you are in Abia state, you are in Lagos state, you are in Kano state, you are, in fact, you are in all over Nigeria. Come out. Protest peacefully. Go on the street. Buari. Hashtag Buari must go. Hashtag Buari must go. No re-election for Buari. Go on the street. You can see Buari children are going on the street. Ibrahim Edris, the Inspector General of Police, is protecting them with police everywhere. That is to tell you that man, that IG, oh my God. That Inspector General of Police is the worst Inspector General Nigeria Police have ever had in the history. The worst. The worst. And still, nobody is being covered by the blood of Fulani Aousa. Aousa Fulani. The blood of Fulani Aousa. That man is being protected by the blood of Buari. Anobaseki is being protected by the blood of Dangote and Oshomole. Hashtag Buari must go. Hashtag Buari must go. Go on the street. Let us remove this Kaba one by one. One by one. Imagine, since I've been online for about an hour now, I've not heard somebody say, a passport not the Italian. 
A pa password not this pay no. A pa will not get password. I didn't hear people say it again. Because people freedom movement solve the problem. I did not hear they say, a pa we not get less pass you RTC to travel. We know here nobody the right time again. Go back to my previous video. This time last year. Password a pa my children. Do you all those women that were calling, begging, sending message? Where are they today? They cannot even give me 10 euro. And these are the reason why your leader is stealing your money. Because for you people to release something, they have to put hammer in your head. With that hammer in your head, you will not use your mind and say, this man have no for almost five months he didn't work last year. How did he pay bills? America is a place of bills. Then you will contribute 100 euro, 200 euro. Then you will not say, hey, I need to what the hell is wrong with you, brother? When problem or problem with all over Europe, London Embassy, Spain, when you have children, they will tell you to go and bring a certificate of a uh, if you name it Osamu Yime, they will ask you, where is the, how can we believe Osamu Yime is a name? But they are not doing Arab like that. We went there. We have not yet the report. Nobody is writing it anymore. If I come to Spain, we have problem. Nobody, because the whole problem, the mega comrade, and with the power of PFM, along with a uh, cameraman, uh, John Coca, and a uh, comrade, uh, Niti Gminigun, the great comrade, we were able to solve the problem. With a collective effort, little little donation. All the donation with that ticket, we go. So we will struggle. But today nobody have won the call except for one woman in Italy who called me a few days ago and said when I was in Italy, she called me. I was on live video. She said, Epa, I just call you to thank you for what you are doing. That she have a problem. That now that she has spoken with me. She believed that problem will be solved and the problem is gone. Then I told her, I tell everybody to tap amen that her problem will be gone. What she was looking for, she's going to get it. Guess what? Two weeks later or one week later, they gave her an Italian passport that she'd be fighting to get. She called me last week and said, last two weeks, and said, Epa, I knew it and I believe it when I speak with Mega Comrie, the problem will be gone. And she went and it was gone. She volunteered to be sending me 20 euro every month. 20 euro. That is the only first woman that I said I will be sending you 20 euro every month. First and the only one. Those that promise I will give, be giving you 50 euro, I will be giving you 100. She, she, they don't bring. One penny, they don't bring. It's all talk, no action. But tomorrow when something hit, they will be calling me. Mega come with you. Hey, pal. Hey, pal. Then they will know. They will tell me, pal, don't put 20, 50 euro for your account. That is called corruption. Can you imagine I'm working with good faith without corrupting myself? I am struggling. You are not encouraging me physically, financially, emotionally, spiritually, otherwise. Tomorrow now, if you call me and I tell you this your problem is going to cost you $100, what were you going to say? Before I even talk in it, I'll tell you, put $500 in my account. Or oh, else, go get a lawyer. And I know I can solve the problem. I will tell you, either you pay this money or go and get a lawyer. I have to finance this movement. My, my admins, uh, let me tell you. Everybody are tired. They don't have money. We are poor people. We are not rich people. We all are managing. The little we have, we are giving it. Then you have some bad head. That what we have all have suffered for. They want to just come and rip it one time. When it didn't work for them, they will start, they will start having what they call meta problem. Meta problem. There's one that have meta already right now. Even two self. One is about to start. My previous executive. He already have meta problem, but he don't know he has it already. Because he get caught. He get caught. Oh, you know, oh, da. Oh, ye, I'm brother, thief. Oh, ye, what you did not so, you want to repeat. And you know, and if not Jennifer Sunday, this person wouldn't have been nobody. Jennifer taught him 
how to even WhatsApp. Jennifer taught him how to do everything. I asked Jennifer to, to teach him. But today, he forgot about it. You come to University of PFM and you have graduated in University of PFM. PFM is a university. Anyone that comes to university, if you don't know how to read and write, you will know it by force. If you do not know how to talk on audio or do video, you will know it by force. By force, you will know it. PFM is a university. If you doubt it, go and ask Jennifer Sunday. She will tell you. Nobody, nobody, nobody can come out and say, me, myself, I appreciate people. Even if I don't have money, if it's one euro, I will say, oh, please manage it. We Nigerians, if they don't put hammer for our hand, the only people that collect our money easily are scammers or corrupt people. They will use trick and take your money. That is why when you call me, if they want to take your land, they want to take your money, don't even try and call me. I will use my money to call. I will use my money to all the law enforcement agency that I'm calling is my money. Is that not corruption? At the end of the day, you will not even say a pa or a mega comrade. Half 20 euro. Is that how Nessie Mandela did it? No. Is that how Dr. King did it? No. No. Except one other guy today. Let me not forget. There's one uh, special police from Washington, D.C. who happens to be uh, in Nigeria, who is a, I think he's a federal police. Capital police, I mean, sorry. Capital police, that is Capital Hill Police, federal police. That sent me a message in WhatsApp and said, I really like what you are doing. He even sent me his picture for me to see that he's a Capital Police. He said, I like what you are doing. Send me your, send me your paper account. I will, I will support you. It really, it really, it really make me happy. I said, wow. I said, thank you, my brother. I've not even sent him the, the paper account now. I will send him for United States Capitol Police to understand. He said, I'll be watch. I'll watch every video of you. But he, he could have done what, he can do what I'm doing, but he, he may be wanting to or that he cannot do it. But the little he can do, he wants to support. He want to support. So, he, he, for, for me, I was shocked. I never even know there is a, a, a Nigerian man as a U.S. Capitol Police officer. I didn't even know that. Not until yesterday. I don't even know. I didn't know that Nigerians are in a U.S. Capitol Police. Capitol Police are those capitals that protect federal capital territory. British Columbia, right there. Where I went to go and protest last year. I didn't know that. Even maybe it's a Beniga. We are doing what we know. You see that? Then in Walmart yesterday, I met one of that Benin man who is in Dallas. He said, oh, my sister in London always send me to her. I met you in a lawyer's place one time. I say, you, you are in Dallas. And you know me, you know me, so you know me. And I tell them that uh, what you are saying is good. I say, say the bad one. You tell them it's not good because you know you cannot do what I'm doing. It's heaviness. He just start laughing. I say, why do you people do that? These are the people that condemn my name. And they know me very well. They know me very well, but I just let him go because it's an advanced man. It's an advanced man, and uh, I, I just let it go. He was not saying that uh, Obaseki, that Obaseki was his junior in school, that he knows Obaseki very well. I said, Why have you to come out to speak? He said, hey, I will go away. Why, 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 yeah. can, you, are you, uh, can you imagine that? Huh? Can you imagine that? One man walk, all oh, man get paid. On the land that broken. One man walk, all man get paid. How can you prosper in that? One man walk, all man get paid. That is the truth. So, that I've done, let me go to Kate Uhosa. Uh, Akataka is about to start. <laughs> Kate Uhosa Okumbo. You see this far? This far belongs to Captain Osa Okumbo. We have been conducting an investigation on Captain Osa Okumbo. Captain Osa Okumbo of a Do State, aka Doctor Damage Ohudano, Ojoba Oyeo, Ohudano Babe, Veloria Doa. Captain Osa want to destroy the whole world. Captain Osa is a problem to a Do State. 
why Mohamed Buhari is a problem to Nigeria. Mohamed Buhari, calamity upon calamity will never be far away from your administration. As you are choosing to use South South, Naja Delta, Middle Best, as your killing experience, how to teach if war come, whatever you want, I don't give a fuck about you, Mohamed Buhari. I regret supporting you. I will not support you again. Fuck you, I fuck your DSS. I repeat, fuck Mohamed Buhari. Fuck Mohamed Buhari DSS. You all can kiss my black ass. I don't give a damn. Because I will never ask you for food. I will never ask you for appointment. And I will never ask you for anything. And by the power of God, in the name of Allah, your power will fall in Jesus' mighty name. God Almighty, this oppression power that you, Muhammad Buhari, and all the bad political cabal, all the bad enigmas, the bad chiefs, the bad king, your regime will fall one by one in Jesus' mighty name. Wherever you are, if my father is corrupt, God, please, take his life. If my father is corrupt to the extent he has no mercy upon the innocent people, take their life. If I am corrupt, take my life. If you two are corrupt, God should take your life in Jesus' mighty name. Take your life. Nobody, God, God created all men equal. No one is more superior than another. But Nigeria, they have made one group of people against other group of people. How long are we going to continue? How long are we going to continue to endure the horror of corruption? How long? Now, Dangote, Hey, Akataka. Hold on. Let me just go straight to it. It's good to, to speak the truth. God will kill all the bad leaders. <laughs> As I speak today, Kogi State. Kogi State is owned by Dangote, Aliko Dangote. Even Kogi State governor. <laughs> Is in the bed with the Dangote and the Buhari. I feel for Kogi people. May God help you all out. PFL cannot do it all. We have no fund. We are we are managing our more debt. So what we can concentrate on is to start from one state. We are going to start from a do state. Obaseki will never sleep until Obaseki do what the people ask him to do. All the houses Obaseki is building now, it belongs to government. If God permitted the people and vote any of PFM member in, or even me, if they vote me, it will be easy for them. If they vote me, it will be very, very easy. Very, very easy. I know how to get the, those houses from them. Either they come and negotiate and tell me, among these 10 houses, we are going to give back seven to government. Help the poor. I was okay. Write the paperwork. I will give it to the poor people. If they don't do that, and I happen to come 2020, by the power of God, I become the governor of a do state. He will. He will. I'm going to be here. 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 I'm Kateosa, go just uh, only all your way, go just leave him, run. He go just leave him. So that is why <laughs> I already know the battle ahead. Buari must fall. And if Buari regime fall, the only way to Obaseki defeat is for Buari to go. If you want Obaseki to go, you want Okorocha to go, Buari have to go first. If Buhari did not go, Okorocha will not go nowhere. If Buhari win the election, me, I will not enter Nigeria again. I swear to God. I will not go. Me, Akataka, me, 
Mere we me o no guade wa wa se gua 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 ire wa ri o wa no we o Saba la gere ri o me ni gua ni gua So Aliko Dangote is Opila Sumo Depot Oh god okay hold on Hey baby I'm I'm on I'm online I'll call you back All right mm -hmm. So, since November last year till now, no fuel in Nigeria. Fuel crisis continue. I bet you my bag, I will. What I bet you have done, the Dusty government have done. My Facebook, Clemente Debbie, Facebook have taken that page down more than, more than 10 times for the last two weeks. Even the new page we created, they always tell me verify your identity, verify your identity. Every every three three days, immediately I verify it. They will open it for a few hours. They will close it again. They lock it. Nobody can send me friend request. That is how bad the government are fighting me. Even the new page I created, I have to personally send you that request before you can accept it. That is how bad they are fighting me. As I speak now, Clement, a dead with Facebook is out again. It's out. Destiny can testify in that. Because Destiny is number one. And Orlando, number two fans. So, just to let people know, if you are a computer specialist, please reach out to me. I am dying. They are killing me slowly. I don't have the money they have. We don't have finance. I need help. I need help. I bet you will go away. O Biawa, Dogima. O Hani. O Gino. O Yo Hani. O Yoba Yeru, Iwano. O Hani, O Dan. As an oil, as a Dano. Since November last year, four crisis is everywhere. Nobody. Can you imagine? A country that produce fuel who have all mineral resources. Even Kogi State now they have oil, they have gas. They just discovered that now. A toasted gas alone. Dangote, the even the minister of solid minerals, we are begging Kogi State government to allow that the only company they trust that can mine very well in Nigeria is <laughs> Aliko Dangote. He is the only man that can buy very well <laughs> because Obwe can hear it. Ah, Nigeria, that country. It's time for us to change that name. Ha! The way Amsa are calling in Nigeria, that is what they should be calling in Nigeria. Nigeria. Owaria in Bede language. They said the only money company is Aliko Dangote. Just like the only smooth producer. Aliko Dangote. Okay. As we understand, <laughs> Nigeria is going down. Like I said, Edo State lost the highest tree cover in Africa. Edo State lost the highest tree cover in Africa since 2016. And those states have lost it because Dangote have come. Obaseki, they are cutting every tree. Okay, what happened to Obaseki farm? The three billion uh, Buari gave Obaseki. What happened to the farm? Have you it come in that farm? Come. Where is the farm? It's full of in Obaseki farm. Obaseki said he want to create job. That he have created farm. Where is the farm? What happened to the farm? APC farm. What happened to it? Did anybody ask? No, because you people are fool. <laughs> Man, fool away. Fool. Did you ask for the farm? No, it's gone. It's gone. Three billion is gone. Okay. <laughs> Nema. Nema was giving 20 billion. Neymar was giving 20 billion in Nigeria. That's 20 billion.
Do you know what the Nema did with it? National Emergency Management Agency. Nema. Do you know what they do with the 20 million? I think so. That 20 billion, Nema said, the Nema director, he said he gave 17 billion to Northeast Hunger. 17 billion naira for Northeast Hunger Emergency Relief. And that money did not get to even half of them. 17 billion out of 20 billion. He said he put 2 billion in a fraud emergency response to protect fraud water in the whole Nigeria, 2 billion. But in Northeast, Northern East Nigeria, they get 17 billion. That is where Buhari comes from. 17 billion. He gave 2 billion to the rest of you. Away, Akba, full. That is it. That's what you are. Fool. You cannot go out. You cannot protest. You cannot do nothing. Tomorrow you say my leader. Even a do some of a do youth are still saying Buari must come. No go out Billy and Kwakwa. Even even what all settle Nigeria is going up. Nigeria is going down in all settle. Even Nigeria FIFA. FIFA have dropped the rate. Nigeria will see position in rating. In soccer. They drop them everywhere. Nigeria will they are going backward, 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 backward. But yet, all these people, they don't want to come out and protest. You want to leave it for Iranomigo. You don't give Iranomigo one euro. You don't give PFN one euro. You don't give us nothing. Zero, zero, nada. Who said they have given money? Come, come and ask me. Send me the receipt. Send it to me. Did you not see I stopped putting my account there? I put, 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 I become tired. A better woman. A better woman. And I say, I leave it. That is the fact. So, I want to let the whole world know. <laughs> Katiosa, I don't want to spend a long time. So, I will come to this and then Margaret, uh, Margaret uh, Idaosa. What I quickly want to, I want to congratulate the people of South Africa who have listened to Mega Comrade, Jacob Zuma. Everybody know how we fought so hard. For Jacob Zuma to go. We even pray for his death. Jacob Zuma will die very soon in Jesus' mighty name. God Almighty will kill him in Jesus' mighty name. And uh, we want to congratulate South African, South African people who have able to drive Jacob Zuma out. And uh, we want to con uh, congratulate the Ethiopian people who have able to drive their Prime Minister out to making him to resign. So we want to thank them. And uh, we want to urge Nigerians to go out on the street. Only two times Ethiopian citizens go on the street and protest. The Prime Minister resign. If Nigeria can occupy Nigeria, like they call it, Nigeria can occupy a street peacefully. Only one week. Sanity will be restored in Nigeria. Hope will be restored in Nigeria. Will be restored. If you wait for Mohamed Buhari for election to come, Mohamed Buhari has stacked billions upon billions of dollars. A lot of life are going to be lost. I'm prophesying to you now. You don't know. You might be that person that they are going to kill. You don't know. Me, I'm not going to Nigeria. None of my members will go to Nigeria. None of my members who are bonafide will be deported. No way. People Freedom Movement is an NGO. Anyone that is holding our ID card, before any government deport them, they have to notify us. If you don't know the importance of that ID card, it is no no profitable organization, a movement that belong to group of people who fight and protect individual rights. If you are not a card holder, and if you know you're right, you are not involved in any criminal activity, you can never be deported without our consent. That is what we are trying to establish in Italy now. After we have our office, because we are having a grand opening of Italian office in uh, April 7th, April 6th and 7th, and the convention, Italian convention. Any PFM member that want to come or across the world, they can come. But we are not calling anybody. We are only going to invite people from Nigeria. We are going to invite people from Nigeria. They will go to the embassy and get a visa. So we're going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. 
If you have money to pay for your visa fees and uh, expenses, give me a call. That's it. I'm going to do it. I would rather help people to come to Europe legally than for you to follow illegal way and die in the desert of Libya. So, in April 6 and 7, we are having a grand opening convention in Bologna, Italy. Italy. So, in about before that a week, our invitation will be out. So, if you are holding a PFM ID card, if you are being controlled by police and you did not commit any illegal activity, all you could do, they will call our office. Our office, we, we will find a way to come and see you. How are we going to come? If money. But when you are not happy, how do we come? No way. We will come and you can never be deported. No way. You are fighting corruption and you are fighting against Kaba. Who are they going to deport you to? For them to kill you? No. So, PFM good member who is protected by PFM. But when we don't have the resources and you are being heard in Ferenzi and they call us, we cannot do nothing because all you do is one man work, all man get paid. You are able to secure the article. Even some people want to use, you, let me tell have you ever seen where they uh, open Gucci? No way, it's illegal. No way, you cannot open Gucci, counterfeit Gucci. You will go to jail. Or Amani. No. Amani protect his brand. Sergio, whatever the covet, Mercedes, protect their brand. So PFM will protect PFM brand. There's no counterfeit. We will hammer you with litigation. We will make sure for the rest of your life, the damages you call you will work and be paying it. You will not even have peace. You will not even have house anymore. I will file the litigation paper by myself. So, if you're thinking of that, think again. And there's one of our former admin that is being expelled from PFM. Very soon, the old world will hear about it. He's been routing in one way or the other, insulting our comrade uh, Newty, insulting me, insulting your PFM. We want everyone to know that it's an outcast. It's an outcast as we speak. So, uh, because he could not uh, illegally uh, scam me and register our movement and try to use it to 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 extract government of Europe. So it's been running from one place to another. It's like a, a wide a wide pattern right now. But we will cut the head. We will not cut the, the tail. So today is the first day I spoke about it. And then uh, for Captain Osa Okumbo, yeah, this file belongs to Captain Osa Okumbo. All this file, you can see his name is here. Osa wears Okumbo. <laughs> Captain Osa Okumbo, born in born 7th January 1958. we not have That's Mama. Captain Osa 58. Now they born Small boy. He's a Nigerian business magnet, investor, a, a investor Ojino. So a lot of everything is here. His background and education. Everything is here. Career. Captain Okumbo will be will be on Monday and I'm going to do Kato Kumbo and uh, Margaret Margaret Waifu so it's going to be for Kato Kumbo uh, so I uh, have a lot of his information and uh, my son is going to be out tomorrow Comrade Niti Ignigu so he's going to be out tomorrow I want every brothers and sisters to join him and support him uh, I don't want to be long on this video so I'm just going to Go ahead and uh, uh, get the hell out of this video. Now, I love you. If you want to join People's Freedom Movement, contact People's Freedom Movement by WhatsApp. Or you can call our direct line, plus one, four, six, nine, six, one, eight, two, nine, nine, zero. Or you can send us a WhatsApp message on plus two, three, four, nine, zero, five, seven, 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 nine, four, seven. I repeat. Plus two three four nine zero five seven 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 nine four seven, or you can call us at four plus one four six nine six one eight two nine nine zero. God bless you, and I appreciate everything. God bless you. God bless you. Please watch, watch a community tomorrow. It's gonna be online tomorrow. By same time, 
Uh, I love you all. This is President, Prophet, Mega Comrade Officer, and Amigo Edegbe, the open leader of People Freedom Movement, the President of the Poor Citizen Worldwide, Commander in Chief of the Defenseless and the Voiceless, the Tata and the Liar Cover. God bless you. So we're going to talk about this on Monday. I don't want to stay too long. Oba I talk for you. Oba I talk for you. So we have to be very, very vigilant. Uh -huh. So that is the truth. We have to be very, very vigilant. Baba Ukakabo watching and they are criminals. God bless you. Love you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, don't forget on uh, Monday, tomorrow, <laughs> I hope you are ready for for Italian convention. God bless you. Love you. Bye bye. I'm living in Nigeria. Oh, with all my life. I'm back to Nigeria. I'm going to you. With all my heart. Politicians carry our money, go overseas. People they die. 